Welcome back to Game Design. This is Lesson 6, Random Numbers. So this is going to kind of put a little bit more use into variables. Also kind of make things look like they're moving around. So all right, we're going to kind of see what it looks like to go through this. So in this case, we just want to look at the code, understand what's going on. So in this case, background tomato, just kind of a red background. We're going to fill it orange. But then we have this new piece of code, random number 0 to 200. All right, now this is in the X position. And Y, the Y is 200, and then the uh, width and height are 50. So again, this is going to be a circle. It's ellipse. 200 is the Y, all right? So this is 200, so it's going to be on this. But the X is 0 to 200. So let's run this. So as we're looking at that, right, the Y is the same, which makes sense. The Y doesn't change, but the X is random, 0 to 200, right? So that's why it's kind of going here. If we change this to 400, and run it, and again, I don't, your code might have been slightly different than mine, but now it goes all the way across, right? Maybe yours was 400 to start with. Um, but the concept is the same, right? This just gives you a random number between 0 and 400. And as we'll see, this is the first piece that gives us a vague thing that's actually moving around. Of course, we have to run it. With that, that's random number, right? So let's kind of put this together with variables and what and what we're trying to do and whatnot. I remember, pause, try to do this by yourself as needed. So in this case, the same as last time, now only x is random. We want to make the y location random as well. So I want to run this. This was, again, I already have it done. Um, start over this is why I start over every single time so when we run this we should just do what we did bounce along that X uh, y axis back and forth right because it's 0 to 400 it goes all the way across so really in this case we just copy this you can also go to math now and drag it over uh, it's a little harder got to find that little line there delete the 200 and then we can do 0 to 400 or anything else. So 0, 400 will make it go anywhere, right? 0, 400, if I do 0, 200, it'll be anywhere on the top. If I do 200 to 400, again, this is where understanding the XY coordinate is so important for where it can show up. Da -da -da. Move on to the next one real quick. This should be a fairly short lesson. There's a couple more to go. Then we need to talk about... And this is, again, where variables are important. So I have 27 when I run this and do it, nothing happens, right? It's always 27. However, again, so instead of having to do this, this allows us to do this, right? With Without this setup, and I'll show you what happens without the setup. So this is the solution, right? This is the solution. I drag the random number over, or you could type random number. And it was already 27, so let's go 20 to 40. That should give us decent size eyes. So run it. Yeah, you can see the eyes are changing. There you go. That was a good one. So the eyes are changing. However, again, this is why it's important, right? This allows them all to be this random number. And this is an error I see with a lot of students, and you'll see this in the practices and stuff we're gonna you're gonna go into. If I do this, which a lot of students will do, you're gonna get really spazzy eyes, right? And you'll see what I mean in a second. Because every single height and width is going to be different. So look at that. See the spazzy eyes, right? Um, it looks like he's having a bad day. So this is why variables are so important, right? I can take this one random number, put it into this one variable, and then use that one variable in all of those four spots. And they're all the same now. Again, it's just a name. Wherever this is, let's say it randomly picked tw uh, 30. So this is 30, and this is 30, 30, 30, right? So this stores information, and this essentially calls it, and this becomes 30, right? What, whatever it is, that becomes that number. That That's how variables work. In, in a very simplistic way, that's how variables work. Da -da -da. All right, one more, and then you're on to the practice. All right, let me just double check this real quick. All right. Now we can add random into this, but the key piece of this one is line 15. 
All right, and this is where I told you we'd come back to this. In lesson five, I told you this. So when we run this, this is 30, this is 60. That's because 30 is all this, and then it changes to 60, so all this is 60. Now we want this to be random, so we'll pull over random. We'll delete the 30 and the 60. And for this, I'm gonna do 20 to 35 and then 35, so this way, I mean, te technically I guess it can be the same. In this case, they, they shouldn't overlap, right? This one should almost always be bigger unless it randomly is the same. So there we go. You can see them barely changing. I, the numbers aren't, 50, there's not a lot of difference, so you probably see this changing a little bit. This one's more pronounced. But that's it, right? That's that's random, right? Is any number in here? This will be random. When we go to do our project, uh, that'll be probably the first time we'll see it doing. And it'll, it'll probably be a while from now um, we actually put it into use. But depending on your video, the game that you want to build, whatever you're thinking about, and as we're going through each of these lessons, it's important to be thinking about how can I use this into my game. I showed you what some of the expectations are of the games that uh, we, you'll be able to do. So as you're looking at thinking about this, how can I use it? So in my example, we're gonna do Pong. I'm gonna randomly have the Pong ball go left or right, up and down, so the player doesn't know where it's gonna go every single time. It's gonna randomly pick a direction where it's gonna go uh, as it goes up or down, left or right, right? It starts off random, and that's a great use of it for my game. You may or may not have it. I know a lot of uh, students that have, in the past have done it, so it randomly has a fireball go from different heights, so it comes across across, and when it comes back, it goes lower. I mean, it's just randomly picking places to go across as an example of when you might use random for your videos. So again, be thinking about how you might use this. With that, you're on to the practice, so finish what practice it tells you to finish, and then do the assessment and the challenges. Real quick, I think I have you do this. Um, this one gets students a lot on what it's doing. Make sure you read what it's saying. Uh, randomize the sizes so it's always changing. That means, right, this needs the X and the Y, all right? So this is what gets students a lot. You need the X and the Y. And, and you can technically just do one, but like, so 50, comma 50. You need the X and the Y in order to do the size. That, so this gets students a lot when they're trying to do this practice. And again, I put 50 in here, but these need to be variables. And then we gotta use that other thing I mentioned to update, right? Update it so each one's randomly different size. If we do random up here and have all planet size, then they're all randomly gonna be the same size. We want them to randomly be different, so think about how to solve that, right? So I'm gonna grade you based on that, so hopefully you watch through this video because that's the expectations that each one of these is randomly a different size. And I just give you hints on how to do that. So with that, that's all I have for this lesson. We'll see you next lesson.